Hello guys, welcome to my channel. I am Dennis the National. So today I'm going to show you actually my friends and there's one thing specific about them. They are, they are the tallest people in the world, so I'll show you that. We'll also talk about their culture, where they come from. Actually, this is Nairobi in Kenya. So we'll talk about that, why they're in Kenya and not in South Sudan. We'll also talk about the fact that they are the tallest human beings on earth. So guys, I will be talking to them and we'll get to see and hear about them. So here I'm with my friends, uh, your name? Emmanuel Scholl. Yeah, his name is Emmanuel Scholl. Yes. Yeah. Upton Jinpyo. Yeah. Those names are very hard to pronounce for me. But otherwise, they are my friends from South Sudan. They are South Sudanese from the Dinka community, right? Yes. So, why did you come to Kenya? Or when, when did you come to Kenya? Actually, I will talk uh, myself about myself, not yeah. uh, someone's. I came to Kenya here in uh, January 2017. Yeah. And uh, the reason me coming here was uh, about education you know most of the Kenyans now are aware about uh, what is happening in my country not only Kenyan but say uh, the, the generally world. The, the world yeah. so there is conflict there but the politicians always fighting so that one interrupts the studies so you have to come to where there is peace like Kenya here you study in peace you finish then you go back and start uh, whatever you do, work or family or yeah, any other kind of thing so you can do. So I came here purposely for education. Which year? I came in 2017. Oh, 2017. Yes. Yeah, in January. January 2017. Yeah. So you have been here like four years, something four years, like four yeah, years. Yeah, four years. Okay, so I, your family is here or you have some other family in South Sudan? So I don't have family here. I just came here alone to study. So although I have relatives that are here with me, but not the parents who, my parents are all there in, uh, South, in Sudan. South Sudan. No one is here. They're just talking to me on phone. And uh, yes, I'm here with the relatives in the school. Okay, guys. So one thing that is very common about Sudanese people is they are very tall. Actually, from the Dinka community that he comes from, it is said that they are the tallest in the world. Even me, I'm pretty much tall. But when I met them, I suddenly became very short. Yes. Yeah, so another thing I would like to tell you guys is that South Sudan is actually one of the newest countries in the world. It got independence from Sudan. Actually, they, su they, succeed, they su succeeded, if that's it, that is what it's called. Yes. Yeah. So they succeeded from Sudan. Now they are a new country. So they still have challenges of putting up a stable political environment and development and stuff like those. But they have a lot of mineral resources like oil and stuff. So I wish and hope that they can use this to develop their country so that it can benefit their people, you know. Most of Sudanese people have to go outside the Sudan to find education, like he said. And it's a very sad thing if you have to leave your country to find education in, other, in another country. I think if the Sudan government, the South Sudan government are listening to this, please, if you can do anything, please try to create an environment that is good for education. Education is one of the most important things people in a country need to, to have access to, you know. If people can't have access to education, then that country is doomed. So if you are listening to this and you are from Sudan or government, please try constructing nice schools, stuff like that. The environment has to be conducive for learning. And you have to support education at all costs. Otherwise your people will never come out of that, you know, political instability feeling in their country. You have to grow. So otherwise my main point why I'm here is I want to talk about their culture and their culture and also how they are connected to me because I've been told also that my tribe came from South Sudan. So I think one of the reasons why I'm also taller is because I came from South Sudan. Yeah. yeah. Actually, I'm from the River Lake Nilots and River Lake Nilots came from South Sudan. You say that place is called? It's Wow. 
Wow. Wow. And the other one, there was another one you said, but Barrel, because that's a region, but uh, region. specifically they are within Wow. Oh. So Wow is in uh, Barrel Gizal. It's just oh. a region. Barrel Gizal is a region, yeah. and Wow is just a, a county, like oh. here in Kenya. Oh. So Barrel Gizal region, oh. Wow County. That's where you can find a lot of people in South Sudan. In South Sudan. Well, guys, if you, as you have heard it, we all came from South Sudan, Luo people. I think that explains why Luo people always have a darker skin tone because people from South Sudan they have they are very a little bit a little bit more darker than but people you are from brown Kenya. now I don't know you I'm don't not <laughs> <laughs> you are not the same I'm not brown uh, but okay. otherwise I'm I'm very black <laughs> yeah if compared to other people other tribes from Kenya mm. Luo people we are very dark skinned. Yeah, if you if you if you see any dark skinned person in the in the streets and you ask someone which what which tribe can that person be? Definitely they'll say Yeah, they will say Luo. Yeah. Because Luos we are we have this dark complexion uh-huh. complexion of the yeah, skin, skin color. Yeah. yeah. Or maybe your mom is from Kikuyu or other uh, tribes that have light skin. Or no, I'm not or light skin. <laughs> anyway, we've got no different lives like, now. Yeah, yeah so you see, that, we, we are seeing ourselves. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not light yeah. skin. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. yeah. <laughs> so, guys, uh, can you guys just stand so they can see when we say tall, we mean tall. So, if I stand right there, guys, I think I'll be. Let me show you guys. So they are very tall. Actually, you said you are six, six nine. nine. Six, six meters. Nine. Yeah. Six. Six inches. No, six. No, like. Six inches, five feet or something. No, yeah. six feet and five and uh, nine inches. Oh, six feet nine, nine inches. inches. Yes. And you, you are uh, six. Yeah, six. Six feet. Yeah. And six inches. Yeah, six. Six. Six, six feet. Six, six inches. Yeah. Six nine. Yeah. Yeah. So guys, that is very tall. I, I think I am six. Not, I think I'm six or less. Uh, you're six, right? Yeah, be, but in Kenya, six, two, six, three maybe. Yeah, in Kenya, actually, I'm considered very tall. <laughs> yeah. But I think if I go to South Sudan, I will be one of the shortest, sure. which is very weird. <laughs> but actually, guys, to tell you something, now they are the tallest, but from their community, the, the Dinka community in South Sudan, they are even way taller people than them. Actually, most of the people in the U.S. basketball, yeah. NFL, yes. I think, yes. yeah, they of play course. basketball because they are way too tall. Yeah, of course, like, uh, naturally, we are tall, yeah. and uh, not just Sudanese, yeah. but there are some uh, particular tribes, right. like my tribe, Dinka yeah. and Nwea, yeah. they are the tallest Tallin. in South Sudan. And then, uh, if you go to maybe USA, NBA there, you find most of our cousins, our friends, from relatives. Sudan's relatives, those who, who play there, yeah. uh, those of uh, late Manut Ball, the tallest man in the world. Yeah. And so he died in 2010. Yeah, Recently, his son also is the tallest. He's around seven. He's seven six. He's uh, well, seven six. Yeah. His dad was seven seven. Yeah. So he has also been drafted in the NBA. Oh. So he now plays for. Have you guys ever considered playing in NBA? Uh, of course. Oh, like, not um, just NBA, but yeah. basketball. Yeah. Actually, even now we play. We play it's basketball. only that we are yeah. not we are not in America we will be in NBA there. <laughs> <laughs> Actually if we are to, to send here yeah. to come and do and like play basketball, yeah. then we'd have been continuing doing it. But now we are here for a different purpose. So oh, we are doing education. that for a later time only. Oh. Yeah. Even here in Kenya you find some tallest guys who, like now we are not the tallest one. Yeah. Some of our brothers here, some are in school, some are outside there, yeah. they are taller than us. Oh. So this 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 is our nature as a Dinka tribe in South Sudan and also to our brothers in Nguyen. So in South Sudan there are only these two tribes that are the tallest uh, people. Dinka and yeah, Nguyen. Dinka and Nguyen. Oh. And in the world we yeah. are the con- we are considered as the, the tallest yeah. people. The, the tallest people in the world. Yes. Guys as you have heard from the tallest people in the world <laughs> that is a good title to hold. <laughs> sure. Sure. Be the tallest guys in the world. Yeah. So guys, thank you for always watching my video. Uh, it feels good to know that there are people who are taller like me. 
Uh, most, most of the times, people don't like tall people like me, but I think I like being tall myself. But now that I've met people who are taller than me, now it feels even better. In my family, actually, you know, in my family, I am. I think I am the tallest in my family. Wow. The rest are very short. Yeah, I'm the tallest in my family. Yeah. So guys, like this video, subscribe, share. Thank you for watching this video. If you are from South Sudan, don't forget to comment below. Leave a like. If you are from Kenya and you know any tall Sudanese, please comment below. Like this video. More videos to come about African culture and stuff. Thank you guys for always being there for me. We love Kenya. We love Kenya. Yeah. Kenya is our second home. We love Kenya. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, we sure. our, yeah. Kenya is our second home. Yeah, yeah they love here, Kenya. We enjoy. We are doing our yeah. things. Yeah. And yeah. things. And yeah. we hope we'll be going back and then we come back. So and also, uh, Kenya is our second home. Yeah. Also, yeah. we want to let uh, other Kenyans who have a uh, different perception about Sudanese in, in Kenya here, yeah. Yeah. maybe when they see us here, yeah. they will say maybe this person is already rich and is come from is coming from a so rich Sudan. family. Yeah. That is wrong. That is a wrong perception. For us, we are just like normal people. We are ordinary people. We are poor. Yeah. We are just here purposely for education, yeah. and then we go back and we support our own parents, Family our own relatives, like and relatives. everything. So yeah, we, sure. To add on that, you, you Kenyans, uh, it is good today that we are here uh, to tell you about this perception. You you know, in every country there are, there are rich people and poor. So get to know that when we are here. Not all of us are rich. Some are from poor, rich family. Some are from poor family. So, but they, they happen like you have been sent here to do, like to come for studies. But some of them, they have been sent by donors, and they are actually from poor family. Yeah. And some have been sent here like by, the, by the politician because most of us here, son of and the daughters of politician, have been sent outside to get a, a better uh, education. But poor, poor of them. I've been sent here by scholars, the scholarship. If you get that scholarship, you've been sent here by the scholars to come and, and continue doing your education. After that, you go back and help your community. Yes. So, so are you here for, for scholarship? Yeah, yeah sure. sure. We are here. Oh, so you, you guys are here for scholarship? Yeah, yeah. we are here for yeah, scholarship. Anyway, there are some Sudanese here, those who, who are being supported by their own uh, parents, parents, family. Yeah. those who come from maybe rich family, but particularly uh, the two of us, we uh, are yeah, just sent here. Scholarship, yeah. Yeah. Not rich. Poor what people. about him? Yeah, even he's even same. him. He's yeah. also one of us. Yeah. yeah. So actually, guys, he's seated right there. He is the shortest Sudanese. I can tell you that he is even <laughs> shorter than me. <laughs> That's why he doesn't want to be on this video. <laughs> yeah, he's one of the shortest guys. Huh? <laughs> yeah, one of the shortest guys. <laughs> sure, sure. <laughs> okay, thank thank you guys for watching. That is it. Please like, subscribe. Thank you.